Welcome to Meet the Artist. I'm your host, Teresa Wynn, and today we have the talented Les Mitchell in the studio. Les, welcome to the studio. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you. I'd love to be here. It's great. Thank you. Yeah. So let's go back to um, your younger years and who was your encourager? Who noticed first, like, gosh, he's got some skill? Well, I think that uh, my teacher, my second, in f my first and second grade teacher saw that I liked art a lot, so they uh, encouraged me to continue doing that, and so I did. I picked it up naturally. I have not really had any classes, formal classes in it. I just okay. uh, liked doing it. Um, so I just started painting and uh, drawing wow. and uh, making things. Did you remember a, an early piece that was a favorite? Yes. Um, a good friend of mine, uh, Bruce Gillum, uh, he, he, I met him in high school. And uh, what was interesting about him is that um, his, he lived with his grandparents, and uh, they went on a trip across country on a motorcycle, uh, on motorcycles. Um, and I thought that was the coolest thing because he was in high school. And they all went, went all the way across uh, um, country. And that one of the places they were in was uh, Texas. And so I did a painting of him uh, in Texas. I didn't bring it with me today. That is so cool. Very good. So um, has there been another artist in your life or someone you never met, a celebrity, who has inspired you and your work? I love Norman Rockwell. I like his colors, the way he picks his subjects, and um, the hometown um, Americana kind of thing. Yeah. That, uh, I like that. Yeah. So it's really neat. I like detail things. Sure, sure. Detail's fantastic. So speaking of creating detail, um, there are multiple ways to create art, and most artists I find dabble in different types of art. So what are some of your favorite mediums? I uh, started with um, oils. Um, okay. My mother did not want me to use her oils, so I sneaked them. I, uh, <laughs> and she I really, and she, like, she just tried to keep them away from me as much as good. So I sneaked them, I started painting. Then she saw what I created, and she goes, she gave me all the, color, uh, all the paints and stuff, and so I just went crazy. Uh, so your mother was an artist, too? Yes, she was. She went to art school. Wow. And do you have some of her pieces? I do at home. I do. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. Uh -huh. So she really, that, her giving you her paints was basically saying, you got it. You got it. That's exactly right. Yes. That's fantastic. Now you brought some with you. Yes. So let's talk about these. I, I love this. My dad was a farm implement dealer, so ah. um, this is really special. It looks like a rusted out combine. This is a harvester, yes, okay. a, a combine that was on the edge of town in a recycling um, area um, over on, um, okay, what is that called? Um, Oak Hill? Sure. Uh, over there by the recycling, um, okay. over um, south of town. And it was there, and I would drive by it uh, many times on my way to work, mm -hmm. and I thought, man, I, I should go out there and photograph that because it's probably not going to stay there very long. Right. So I photographed it. And a week later, they removed it. Oh. But, but it had been there for like, like maybe a couple of years. That was meant to be. Yeah, so uh, I was really glad I, I uh, took a picture of it. What I liked about it most is that it was rusted out. I liked the. I wanted to see if I could um, match colors with the rust. Right. It was also mired in a lot of um, mud. Um, mm -hmm. and yeah, you can really pick that up here. And yes. And I thought that was really kind of an interesting kind of picture. So I wanted to uh, do it. And I wanted to do it in quite large scale so I could get as much detail into the picture as I could. Yeah, and I, there's, there's a touch of symbolism here, you know, being something so important to the harvest in the fall. Yes. And you've got some fall colors in the leaves here mm -hmm. surrounding yes. the implement. And then the, the shimmer on the tires, you just... No, that's rubber. I love that. Great. Just the way it the way it looks. And tell us about this interesting piece on the table. That's really cool. A different type of art. Yes, this is three dimensional art here. Um, this was actually a toy tank that's motorized. Um, a friend of mine had this, and it was um, 
you know, uh, when you buy it from the store, it's in military, I think, green. Um, mm -hmm. And I saw a lot of potential with this. So um, I airbrushed it because of Desert mm -hmm. Storm. I'm a, I'm a true I'm a real patriot, um, and I love okay. our military. Appreciate the sacrifice they do. And so I want to do mm -hmm. um, a piece that would um, signify what they did in Desert Storm. Um, so this is the tank. Um, the um, tank commander over here, he actually, um, I actually um, molded that and um, with a knife uh, did more detail on it and put wow. um, bags and things like that, equipment on him, sure. uh, and then painted uh, the helmet, did, uh, did a better, uh, another helmet on him. Um, all the bags and the, um, the backpacks and the bedrolls, those are all made with um, paper towels. No kidding. Yes, they're all paper towels with tape. Wow. Um, yeah, mostly just a white glue, paper towels, and uh, tape. So how was there a way that you are preserving this? Did you use some sort of uh, preservation spray or anything like that? No, uh, it's just like white glue and paint. Okay. That's all it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. And had you yourself served in the military to really understand these details? The closest I ever got was Boy Scouts. Um, okay. I wanted to um, become a military person, but my um, dad did not want me to go into the military, mm -hmm. so he uh, steered me away from that. Um, but I, um, I became a teacher, um, so I, I really like people, and I, um, so I became a teacher. And, and so you know the, you know the history of it all. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Right. So that's that's really unique and and cool. This over here, you have a a motorcycle. Yes. I love the colors. How they just they really pop off your painting. Mm -hmm. I like this because um, I wanted to do. Um, some um, okay, weathering on the pipes, mm -hmm. uh, like the, uh, the rust color on the pipes, and also there's uh, parts that uh, shine. The chrome, um, the chrome detail there, um, yeah. chrome is an interesting thing because you can, um, it, chrome has, it's in between white and black, it's somewhere in between there. Right. And so to get those colors and stuff with the reflection, it was a really good challenge for me, so that's uh, why. Right, I liked it. and to get that, get the, the, the various pieces of light going through the bike, it's mm -hmm. just phenomenal. Your work is, cool. is terrific. Well, thank you. And so, with, with, three D art, with your oils, what has been the most unusual or interesting tool or trick that you've used in your art? Okay, interesting tool. Um, I think um, just whatever the eye sees, I try to reproduce that with the eye mm -hmm. sees so that I get it exact. Um, I get as close to realism as I can. Uh, I like to make things look like photographs. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, like, for example, I, um, I did a mural and on one of the animals on this mural, it's a, it's a snake and it needed the scales, so I cut a little piece of a basket, oh. and I dipped it in, in the paint and used that, and it worked. Okay. So, you ever do anything weird like that? Yeah, let's see, <laughs> uh, my daughter does things like that. She likes to, um, yeah? I forgot what that was called, um, but I have not done that, uh, other than, um, like I said, just piecing together things that uh, I see. So, sure, yeah. sure. So your daughter is into, painting and that's a third generation yes. in your family yes mm -hmm. fantastic yeah. is she studying art she um did a lot of art while she, uh, she went to school here in janesville um and she um studied art in both uh, elementary school middle school and she did art oh. in high school also um, oh, fantastic and um so she after that um she went to the university of madison wisconsin okay and uh, went into um, the, um, what is it called, um, interior design. Aha, uh -huh, another and, type of art. Yes. Absolutely. And she still does um, other art on this side. Very cool. So here's a silly question. If you could eat a piece of edible art, <laughs> what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely be chocolate. Ch something chocolate, <laughs> right? Something chocolate, yes. <laughs> yes, maybe a tank in chocolate. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 
And I see you are drawn to um, vehicles a bit. Yes. Is yes. that is that, that is a correct. favorite? That's one of my favorite things to do. Um, vehicles, uh, military vehicles, I like that. Um, but I've also done a, a bulldozer, um, ah. things like that. So, yes. Neat. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. So for other artists out there, Les, um, who look at your work and they admire your talents mm -hmm. and your skill, what would you say to an aspiring artist who just needs a, needs a boost? Paint as much as you can. Uh, keep a um, piece of paper out. Um, doodle. I do a lot of doodling. Okay. Like when I'm in meetings and uh, sometimes I'm a little bored, I will just start drawing. And we, won't, we won't tell them. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, I do a lot of, um, and I, it doesn't have to be with colors necessarily. Um, pen and ink is fine. Uh, shading, learning how to shade, um, just as much detail as you can. And the more you practice, especially human body, the better you um, get at it. True, very true. It's like anything. The more we practice, whether it's music, and, and you're a musician as well. I am. You're a cellist. I am, yes. Yeah, so you, you've you got a very creative spirit in you. <laughs> and um, was it difficult to choose pieces for the Hedberg exhibit? I, yeah, it was a little bit difficult. Uh, I had my, my wife help me, uh, my wife's Lori Mitchell, and um, she helped me uh, pick these here as being the best representation. And you trust and your wife's judgment. I do. <laughs> I definitely do. <laughs> That's really good. Yes, <laughs> it's yes, important, and it's yes. good you said that. <laughs> um, so, wow, this is really exciting. You're going to be exhibiting from through the month of August yes. on the River Wall. Yes. So, mm -hmm. are you excited for this? I'm looking to, forward to it. I'm very excited. Yes. Well, we're excited to see it. Yes. Can't wait. Okay. <laughs> so, that's all the time we have for now. Thank you for joining us. And remember, don't put it off till another day. Go out and make some wild, whimsical, wonderful art. I'm your host, Teresa Wynn. Until next time, on Meet the Artist. Thank you.